In 2020, I lost everything. My career, my savings, friends, relationships, my health, pretty much everything. I was at the worst point of my life and I had no idea what my future was going to be. Fast forward two years and my life is completely unrecognizable. I've launched a successful career, worked with Silicon Valley's fastest growing companies, spoke at the United Nations, Google, and even at a conference with Trevor Noah. And the reason why all of this happened, the reason why my life changed so suddenly and so powerfully is Twitter. What? In this video, I'll tell you all the details. Story time. I'm Vensi and I make content on no-code productivity and entrepreneurship. From being a lawyer, digital marketer, growth consultant, and then working in tech, my career has spanned a wide range of fields so far. But through the last nine years, I've always been an educator and I love to teach. So if you want to learn about some of the topics from me, do subscribe to my channel. But let's get back to the story now. This is going to be a long story. So I divided it all up into chapters and the timestamp to all of them can be found below. So let's get started right at the beginning. 2020 was incredibly hard for all of us in so many ways. I think it was the first time in a very long time that in human history the world changed so quickly and so drastically. And 2020 was one of the hardest times of my life. I lost everything that year and I had no path going forward. I had no idea what I was going to do and I also had four dependents to take care of. So I took up any small project I could find and I did work that killed me even more every single day. And between the stress of doing work that I hated and the anxiety of not knowing what was coming next, I lost 10 kgs in just a month and I became a husk of myself. But I didn't give up. I spent every waking moment trying to learn new skills, develop new networks, meet new people, and I attended every single free webinar I could find to learn something new every single day. It was around this time that I found Twitter. And the funny thing is that I had made my Twitter account when I was 14 years old in 20 and for 10 years, I was just lurking around or not really using it actively. In 2020, I was so sick of Instagram and doom scrolling on it, so I uninstalled it. Instead, I started using Twitter to learn how to use it effectively. Chapter 1, The Beginning. I was already actively interested in the productivity space for a couple of years by then, so that is where I started. I followed everyone in the space that I could find and actively looked for ways to engage more. I attended all of Marie Poulin's office hours, then I followed all all of her guests on Twitter. I followed Maria Aldrey's work and I was already actively following Tiago Forte, Ali Abdal and a bunch of others who often tweeted about their work or new blog posts. I also attended any free event in the space even if it was the middle of the night for me in India. Now after a while of doing this, I came across a webinar on productivity frameworks by a company called Rad Reads. Now Rad Reads is an excellent source of productivity and mindful growth. So if you're interested in the subject, you should definitely check them. Rad Reads was found by someone called K. He. K is now a friend and an outstanding human through and through, but it was this webinar that changed my life. Now, this session was about the age old debate in the productivity space between goals versus systems and K's take on it. I took detailed notes during the webinar on Notion. Now, what was different this time around was right after the event, I shared the link to these notes on the Notion document on Twitter. K saw this, he was impressed, he reshared the tweet, and he started following me. Now, you need to understand that at this point, I had maybe a couple of hundred followers from all those years ago and I was pretty much a nobody. But he took a chance on me and he showed me that he believed in me. And you should know that this kind of belief capital it means everything to someone who has nothing. That night, I was so excited that I couldn't sleep. This little incident marked the beginning of an incredible journey that was going to take me places that I couldn't even imagine off that day. What I learned from this is to invest in someone that you believe in and take a chance on them. Maybe it is by offering them a free place in your course, or it might be as simple as following them on Twitter. It will be life changing for that person and they will always remember you in their journey. Chapter two, the grind. After case retweet and after he started following me, more and more people started to engage with my posts. Then what I did was I went to all of their profiles, learned more about them, researched about everything new that I found and tried to find opportunities in every area that I could hope to grow in. One thing led to another and I began to build a complex web of a knowledge base spanning not only productivity with which I started at first, but also UI UX, website development, graphic design and a new space 
place that I had never heard of before. This new term that I came across was called no code. In late 2020, I had no idea what that term meant. I had tried to learn code before in my life, but I just never had the time for it. And it was always so frustrating to me because it prevented me from building out my ideas. So when it said no code, I thought it seemed really promising. So down the rabbit hole I went. I went on Twitter and I tried to find everyone with the term no code in their profile. I started engaging with all their content to try to understand what it was all about and if I could learn it. What quickly became obvious to me were two things. First, that no code was simply a way of building websites and automations using tools that did not need you to write code. And second, that I was already doing this for years without ever knowing the term no code or that there was a community of people who were actively supporting each other. For the first time in my life, I knew that I had found my tribe and I also knew that a new path had just opened up for me. After a couple of months of engaging with followers and strangers on Twitter, I gradually developed credibility as a Notion expert by December 2020. At that point, I still hadn't started using any of the popular no-code tools such as Bubble, Webflow, Glide and other tools that I later built successful apps on. I only knew Notion and I was putting in the reps to get better at it every single day. In December 2020, I was still a beginner at no code. A wide-eyed enthusiast who knew the potential but who still didn't have any skills. But I was patient. I woke up every day with renewed excitement about the possibilities of the space. Chapter 3 said in the pity. Through Twitter, I found several communities that completely changed my life. The most important of these was called On Deck, a Silicon Valley based educational company that encouraged creators. Back then, they actually had several programs on new age skills such as writing, podcasting, course creation, etc. And the first of them was a fellowship on no code. One day, while still not knowing what no code was, I found their tweet that said that the applications to this fellowship were still open and I immediately applied. I I figured that even if I was gonna get rejected, at least I would learn a little more about the field in this process. In the interview, I was very honest. I mentioned that I did not know what no code was, but I also outlined my work building website and automations without using code. I did not realize it at the time, but I had eight years of experience building websites and automations and basically stuff that worked without ever knowing how to code. I learned and used tools like Zapier for many, many years without ever knowing that it was a skill. I just thought there was something that everyone learned. Turns out I was wrong. To my boundless joy, I was accepted into the fellowship that was starting in January 2021. But I knew that I was going to be meeting the best no coders in the world in that program. So I wanted to be prepared. So I resolved to learn and master as many no code tools as I could find. So I began my journey of learning something new in no code every single day. I began putting in the reps that would change my life in just a few months. In December 2020, I didn't have a course or an instructor. No code wasn't even big back then. All I had was learning by building and it was my favorite method of learning anyway. But what I did differently was that I learned in public on Twitter. At first, I only knew Notion. I answered questions on Twitter and on forums, helped people with their questions on tweets and designed templates and distributed them for free again on Twitter. All this brought me to the attention of the Notion team who selected me as the Notion ambassador. The day I was selected as the Notion ambassador, I announced it to the world on Twitter and I crossed my first 1000 followers on that day. But I continued to learn and use Twitter to document my journey. Day after day, I showed up, made some progress on building my apps and then also posted a tweet about my learning. I started learning no code with a tool called Bubble. On day one, I just received access to their blank canvas. I showed up every single day and challenged myself to learn something new. Some days it was a small technique that I learned and on other days it was huge breakthroughs. And within a month, I had my first app with users and team members. What also happened was because because I had put in all of those reps and effectively taught myself, I was also in a unique position to teach others. Within one month, I went from bubble beginner to teaching bubble to my friends in the No Code Fellowship. What I learned from this experience is that you always have skills that you might consider habits or routines, but other people are just dying to learn from you. Chapter 4 the universe responds. Until this point, I was learning basically for myself and teaching anyone who was interested, usually on one-on-one -on -one calls or in small private groups. In addition to Bubble, I also branched out to other tools. And I even won a global hackathon building a legal tech tool in just a weekend. This was a very eventful time in my journey. I was building and shipping something frequently while continuously learning in public. But because I was continuously documenting my journey on Twitter, several peoples within my circles and beyond started taking notice of my 
my growing skills. In February 2021, the government of Canada was hosting a hackathon for its university students to address the problem of human trafficking. Someone from their team tweeted a request for a speaker for their workshop and several people tagged me. It was completely shocking to me and I had a huge case of imposter syndrome and I was very hesitant to take it up. But because of my huge repository of proof of work on Twitter, they went ahead and chose me as the speaker for their workshop. I was very surprised but at the same time I was motivated and I took it up as a challenge. At this point there was no blueprint on how to teach no code to newbies. I'd never attended such a session and there were no public resources either. So in preparation for the workshop I tried a bunch of tools and I settled on a tool called Glide. I called my workshop how no code can change the world and I designed a curriculum where participants would be able to build a fully functioning app within just one hour and launch it by the end of the workshop. It was a highly successful workshop and since then I've put in more than a hundred hours of speaking and training people in no code. That one tweet looking for a speaker at one event launched my career as a no code educator and this is something that I do even now every day. Something else that I should mention at this point is that preparing for this workshop introduced me to the power of building apps using Google Sheets through the tool called Glide. This skill will prove useful one month later when India's healthcare system collapsed overnight during our second COVID wave. I launched an emergency COVID relief app that helped hundreds of thousands of users during a national emergency. But that is a story for later. For now, I will say that Twitter was instrumental in making sure that the app reached thousands of people in need. Chapter 5, The New Beginning. Now, we enter the last part of my story. I'm sure that you're familiar with building in public, but if you're not, I made a video about it that you should definitely watch and the link to it is right here. Now this last part of my story is all about taking building in public to a whole new level. So when I participated in that on deck fellowship, I was fascinated with how well the experience was delivered to all of the participants. My own experience as a participant told me that this was a new way of delivering educational experiences and it felt like the best alternative to college in the 2020 pandemic world. So while I tweeted about it everywhere, I wanted to be more than just a cheerleader for the company. I wanted to be a part of the team that was building it. So I applied for a position in their candidates team. It was an ops lead position and it involved a bunch of no-code infrastructure developmental work for the company. OnDeck was growing incredibly quickly at this point because it empowered its team with no-code skills. So I applied for the job on their website. But I didn't stop there. I also went ahead and tweeted about it. This was not just building in public, this was applying for a job in public. It was incredibly stressful because if I was rejected from the job, I would also have to tweet about my failure. So once I announced it, there was no turning back. So it was a bet and one that I'm so glad that I took. Because when people saw that I applied for a job at OnDeck, they went out of their way to support my application. They publicly recounted their experiences learning from me or using my apps. And even people that I did not know came out to support me because they had been following my tweets for the last few months. I was incredibly humbled and floored by the support that I received from my tribe. It was then that I knew that no matter what the outcome, everything was going to be okay. At OnDeck, I went through four to five rounds of interviews and submitted my assignment. Everyone I spoke to already seemed to know about me, either from my active participation during the fellowship or through my tweets. It was a lot of fun talking to all of them and at the end of it all, I got the job. This job was absolutely life-changing because it helped me break into tech and meet some of the best operators in the world. During my time at OnDeck, the company was a rocket ship that grew unbelievably quickly, brought in the best people in the world and I grew in my role as an ops lead to leading education at the company until I left it earlier this year. You can actually retrace my whole on-deck journey on Twitter if you just go back to my tweets. Conclusion so, there you have it. This was the story of how my life changed completely in a very short time. Twitter powered it all, and I don't think that any other social media platform can do this, probably with the exception of LinkedIn. But Twitter has a certain authenticity, and there are just more people here. And the way Twitter is set up, it has the power to engineer serendipity, to make an intricate web of connections that don't exist today in just a matter of days. Of course, it's not all about the tool, it is also about the user. And here's what I think I did right in the whole process. These are helpful tips if you want to grow on Twitter. Stay curious and ask questions and demonstrate a spirit of learning. Stay humble and say yes to new opportunities more. Build your projects and learn new skills in public and show gratitude to your supporters openly and frequently. But most importantly, stay consistent and turn up every single day. 
From all my learnings and my personal templates that I use to grow on Twitter, I created a free Twitter growth playbook that you can download from the description below. It is a free Notion template that will supercharge your Twitter growth. My journey started in productivity Twitter and it took me so many places before finally finding no code Twitter. Then no code opened a huge world of possibilities. And I think this is just the beginning of my journey. All the links to the tweets and resources that I mentioned in this video are in the description. If you want to learn more about building in public and using Twitter better, do start with this video, which is an excellent resource to get started. Also, if you're on Twitter, do say hi to me. I'm at Venci Krishna. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in my next video.